Bible Prophecies of Muhammad. Part 2 of 4. Old Testament Prophecies of Muhammad. Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 18 I, God, will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, like unto thee, Moses, and will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. Many Christians believe this prophecy foretold by Moses to be in regards to Jesus. Indeed Jesus was foretold in the Old Testament, but as will be clear, this prophecy does not befit him, but rather as more deserving of Muhammad, may the mercy and blessings of God be upon him. Moses foretold the following. 1. The prophet will be like Moses. Areas of comparison, Bedouin Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, prophets. Birth, comparison. Mission. Comparison, Bedouin Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, Prophets. Parents, Comparison, Bedouin Moses, Jesus, Muhammad. Prophets. Family life. Comparison. Acceptance by own people. Comparison, Bedouin Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, Prophets. Political authority. Comparison, Bedouin. Victory over opponents. Comparison. Death. Burial. Comparison, Bedouin Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, Prophets. Divinity. Comparison. Began mission at age. Comparison. Resurrection on earth, comparison. Bedouin. 2. The awaited prophet will be from the brethren of the Jews. The verse in discussion is explicit in saying that the prophet will come amongst the brethren of the Jews. Abraham had two sons, Ishmael and Isaac. The Jews are the descendants of Isaac's son, Jacob. The Arabs are the children of Ishmael. Thus, the Arabs are the brethren of the Jewish nation. 3. The Bible affirms, and he, Ishmael, shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. Genesis chapter 16 verse 12. And he, Ishmael, died in the presence of all his brethren. Genesis chapter 25 verse 18. The children of Isaac are the brethren of the Ishmaelites. Likewise, Muhammad is from among the brethren of the Israelites, because he was a descendant of Ishmael the son of Abraham. 3. God will put his words in the mouth of the awaited prophet. The Quran says of Muhammad, Neither does he speak out of his own desire, that which he conveys to you is but a divine inspiration with which he is being inspired. Quran 53-3-4. This is quite similar to the verse in Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 18. I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, like unto thee, and will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 18. The prophet Muhammad came with a message to the whole world, and from them, the Jews. All, including the Jews, must accept his prophethood, and this is supported by the following words. The Lord thy God will raise up unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee, of thy brethren, like unto me, unto him, ye shall hearken. Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 15. 4. A warning to rejectors. The prophecy continues. Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 19 And it shall come to pass, that whosoever will not hearken unto my words which he shall speak in my name, I will require it of him. In some translations, I will be the revenger. Interestingly, Muslims begin every chapter of the Quran in the name of God by saying, Bismillah i r Rahman i r Rahim. In the name of God, the most merciful, the dispenser of grace. The following is the account of some scholars who believed this prophecy to fit Muhammad. The first witness. Abdul Ahad Dawud, the former Rev. David Benjamin Keldani, B.D., a Roman Catholic priest of the Uniate Chaldean sect, read his biography here. After accepting Islam, he wrote the book, Muhammad in the Bible. He writes about this prophecy. If these words do not apply to Muhammad, they still remain unfulfilled. Jesus himself never claimed to be the prophet alluded to. Even his disciples were of the same opinion, they looked to the second coming of Jesus for the fulfillment of the prophecy, Acts 3:17-24.
so far it is undisputed that the first coming of Jesus was not the advent of the prophet like unto thee and his second advent can hardly fulfill the words. Jesus, as is believed by his church, will appear as a judge and not as a lawgiver, but the promised one has to come with a fiery law in his right hand. The second witness. Muhammad Assad, was born Leopold Weiss, in July 1900 in the city of Lvov, German Lemberg, now in Poland, then part of the Austrian Empire. He was the descendant of a long line of rabbis, a line broken by his father, who became a barrister. Assad himself received a thorough religious education that would qualify him to keep alive the family's rabbinical tradition. He had become proficient in Hebrew at an early age and was also familiar with Aramaic. He had studied the Old Testament in the original as well as the text and commentaries of the Talmud, the Mishnah and Gemara, and he had delved into the intricacies of biblical exegesis, the Targum. Commenting on the verse of the Quran, and do not overlay the truth with falsehood, and do not knowingly suppress the truth, Quran 242. Muhammad Assad writes, by overlaying the truth with falsehood is meant the corrupting of the biblical text of which the Quran frequently accuses the Jews and which has since been established by objective textual criticism while the suppression of the truth refers to their disregard or deliberately false interpretation of the words of Moses in the biblical passage the Lord thy God will raise up unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee of thy brethren like unto me unto him ye shall hearken Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 15 and the word words attributed to God himself, I will raise them up a prophet from among thy brethren, like unto thee, and will put my words in his mouth, Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 18. The brethren of the children of Israel are obviously the Arabs, and particularly the Mastariba Arabianized group among them, which traces its descent to Ishmael and Abraham, and since it is this group that the Arabian prophet's own tribe, the Quraysh, belong, the above biblical passages must be taken as referring to his advent. Thanks for watching and sharing. Why not leave a comment below and let me know what you think. For more information, please visit our site, www.nomuhammad.org.